Hey everyone, TechDimension here with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone 16 Pro Max screen being unresponsive. You want to follow these tips and tricks to get it working again. So, first thing you usually want to do is make sure that there is no kind of dirt, dust, or oil on the screen. Wipe it down with the microfiber cloth, really getting anything out that could interfere with the touch itself. The next thing to consider is that if you recently put a new screen protector because you got the new phone, sometimes screen protectors are not compatible or they're not adjusted correctly. So you might consider removing that screen protector if it's something that you notice after putting it on. Along with that, or if you have a special case, sometimes they can also interfere with the corners or the side of the phone interfering with your touch as well, causing the screen to be unresponsive. Now, after you follow this step, this is the steps you wanna to follow to go ahead and uh, reset it. So first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click and press and release the volume up and then press and release the volume down and then hold on to the side button until the screen goes black. So I'm gonna do volume up, volume down, and then I hold on to the side button. Now this is not as a force restart or reset. This will not delete any of your data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. All I'm doing is basically having the phone shut down completely by forcing it to shut down and then reloading the code. When I see the Apple logo, I let go of that side button. You can do it as many times as you need to to ensure that it's not gonna affect your phone. Again, it's just volume up, volume down. Important thing to do is quickly press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold on to that side button until you get, get the phone to Go back and reboot and again none of your data will be lost in this process you can do it as many times as you need to now one final thing to do is that after you have done that and you're still noticing maybe here and there it's unresponsive or causing any issues is that you're going to go into your settings go to general and then go over to your iphone storage which is going to be right up here and then you're gonna ensure that you have enough storage with your bunch of apps, especially taking up a lot of your data. Sometimes when you don't have enough data, when you try to open up the app, they become frozen or stuck and it seems like the screen is stuck. But that's not the case. In a case that you don't have much space available, as you can see here, it will tell you how much space you have. I have 495 gigs available, but if you're down to the last couple gigs, try deleting some stuff like apps that you don't use. Photos and videos usually take up a lot of space. Just go down the list here, it's gonna tell you what uh, can be deleted or what's taking up the most space, and that should also help. And with any other solution out there, it's always good to go ahead and update your phone to the latest version, especially with iOS 18 that came out. If you go into your settings, general, software update, there is a new update available at the time of recording that addresses things like camera freezing on the iPhone 16 uh, Pro models, touch screen issues where it's unresponsive in certain circumstances. So these things are being issued and even performance. So it's always good to update your phone uh, to the latest iOS version to go ahead and fix those issues. And I hope this video is helpful. So please consider the like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone and other iOS devices. We'll see you guys next time.